Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanted to give a solution for a bug that some of you may encounter while working on Cold Steel's Web Developer Bootcamp, the newest version, uh, the Yelp Camp project within that course. So if you're running the application and you go look at the campgrounds and these are your seated campgrounds and then you click on something like view Grizzly River and you try to go look at this campground and then you're just getting this crazy error and so the main part of the error is cannot read property username of null pretty simple fix so if we go back over to the code here uh, the first thing you want to do is open up Mongo so make sure that MongoDB is running uh, on Windows I've already got it running in the background but in any event make sure it's running in a different terminal then go over here to a new terminal type in Mongo and then you can show dbs if you want to find the database. I already know mine is yelp-camp. And so in here, if you need to get the collection name, you can do show collections, but we already know it's users. So db.users.find, you can even throw a little dot pretty on here, and that will format it so it's easier to read. So go find your user, and then find the, us the user ID of your user, so ID, object ID and then copy what's inside of the parentheses for object ID, okay? So select it, control C or command C if you're on Mac. And then you're gonna wanna go over to seeds, the seeds directory and then index.js. This is already open here. And so there's a comment here that says your user ID. So you see you have the author here. Just replace this string with the one that we just copied and then save it. Okay, so now you can close Mongo. Don't need that anymore. My server's running, so I'm gonna turn it off. Now, to reseed the database, we've got a file inside the seeds directory called index.js. So you just run a command. This is inside of the main Yelp camp project here. And you can determine that just by typing ls. You can see there's app.js, and the file that we're about to run is inside of the seeds folder. So we just run node seeds and it automatically finds that index.js file and it runs it. So it's going to say database connected. We don't have anything in here that tells us that this is running successfully. You could add a console log if you want to, but if it finishes running and it closes it out and you end up with your cursor or uh, whatever you want to call this thing back inside of your terminal, just with an empty cursor, then that means that it ran correctly. Now, of course, we want to test it and make sure. So. We can run node daemon or node app.js, whichever you prefer. And now we head on over to our application, go back to the campgrounds index and click on any one of the campgrounds. And now, because they have a valid user ID that exists in your application, you can now see them. This should work for any of them. You can just pick one arbitrarily and it seems to be working correctly. So that is the solution to that issue. Hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you all in the next video.